Hey guys, hope you're doing all right and hanging in there. I had this thought just recently. I noticed this very strange thing where um, even though I was housebound, physically still more than ever in my life, basically all day, as the days were going past, I was finding myself feeling like, like mentally, I was kind of moving a hundred miles an hour. It's really odd if some some was saying if someone was to say how are you, I'd find myself saying, "Yeah, I'm all right," but man, alive, my brain is just like fried, and I I just couldn't quite understand this. It seemed pathetic. How on earth can someone who is totally physically still, basically all day, have this growing sense of me and life and my brain and everything moving at this incredible pace and struggling to keep up? And then it dawned on me. I had been thrown, whether I like it or not, squarely and firmly into how land. Everything in my life was suddenly basically about how you do everything. And you see, I am someone who by nature, I love asking more of like the what questions, you know, the future, the vision stuff, like the what and the why. And, and I've always struggled with the honest, the nitty gritty, practical detail of like how you actually do it the systems the organization the plans just ask Josie or anyone who knows me um to you know and this 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 season though is all about the how how do you do online school how do you get the shopping done how do you um communicate with neighbors without contravening boundaries how do you stay in contact with the world without being on social media all the time everything is about how 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 so many problems to be solved and uh, this was just leading for someone like me who's weak in these areas already it's just exposing I am so weak at how I always have been but now whether I like it or not I have been thrown into this world where everything feels it's about the how how do we do these things and I found myself just actually um, finding some comfort in three very simple little steps, three little ingredients They might be helpful. If you're someone like me who struggles <laughs> naturally in the how um, because of your own limits and weaknesses. Number one is to pray it. So Philippians says... Um, Cast all your anxieties on him. It connects your anxieties when things start to build up with prayer. I know this is obvious, but there is something phenomenally powerful, actually, that every time that that starts to creep into Tom, this worry, this fear about the how, is to actually grab it and say, Father, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how this is going to work, but I give it to you. Just turning an anxiety into prayer massively changes because it reminds you you're not on your own actually when I think I'm on my own that's when the anxiety starts to creep because of the how when I think no 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 actually father this is your this is your problem really you, you you say give it to me it changes things and actually I'm also reminded that the bible talks a lot about asking for wisdom that it's not enough for me just to say I can't do the how I'm all about the what and the vision stuff no 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 actually God says, ask me, and there is real, specific wisdom that he loves to give. So first then is to actually pray it. And the second, though, is to pass it. And what I mean by that is it may be that God does give you and me wisdom on the how. But it may be that part of this is a season of, for those of us who tend to think about the what and the why, the, the vision, the future stuff, um, and not so much on the strategy or the how and the organisational stuff, it, this is maybe a season where, honestly, we need to honour and be real and to be humble and grateful for those men and women around us who are just hardwired for the how. Um, I am so grateful here in San Francisco for so many people who are so strong in the how. It's really humbling, to be honest with you, um, when I feel I get so flustered and overwhelmed by probably things that aren't actually that big a deal to people who are hardwired like this. It's fascinating. Some people who are more like how, strategy, practical, like problem solvers, 
they're getting energized. Some of you guys are getting energized in this season with these problems to be solved. Whereas for others like myself, uh, man, I'm getting exhausted. And I think, I think this is where family and team and community and working together is so key. And it just requires those of us who are feeling a little exhausted, just to be honest and say, can, can you help me? It's a humbling thing, but man, I just want to honor all of you guys who are so strong in the how. And the final thing is to pause it, is to slow it down, to be kind to yourself. You won't get as much done in the time that you normally would. Man, if if even uh, Amazon is struggling with the how, and their delivery times are longer than ever, then for people like you and me, we can be kind to ourselves. I'm so impatient, and God tends to work on that by saying, Tom, Trust me, you won't get as much done, but actually it's still going to be something that's good and you just need to pause things a little bit and trust me and slow things a little bit. This is a season uh, for some of you, you're going to feel energized. For some of us, we're going to feel exhausted. Um, If you're like me and you tend to feel more of the latter, remember, first of all, pray it secondarily pass it potentially and number three pause it slow it down a bit i hope that's helpful love you guys